Your relationship with Jesus does not have to be boring. It doesn't have to be something that you just go through the motions half the time and force yourself to do. This is you, let me give you an analogy. So say we're, we live on a farm, we have some sheep, and we have a problem with coyotes coming and trying to eat our sheep. To solve this problem, you may say, we can just shoot the coyote, we can kill him. That would solve our problem, that would solve the sheep's problem, but that would not solve the coyote's problem, because he'd be dead. You could say, we could trap this coyote. That was, again, solve our problem, the sheep's problem. But would that really solve the coyote's problem? You could say, oh, he's reformed, he's changed. But no, he's just caged. He's going back and forth, waiting for that door to be open. As soon as that door's open, he's eating sheep. Now, what this cage coyote represents is a lot of modern-day Christians who just go through the motions of things, going to church because you know it's the right thing to do, but deep down you hate it. You try to read the Bible because you know it's best for you, but deep down it feels like a chore. So what do we do to fix this problem? We take the coyote and turn him into a sheep. Now, this represents the full message of the gospel, that God takes us who were once coyotes, who were dead in our sins, who loved our sin and hated God, and he transforms our heart from the inside out and turns us into a sheep that longs to hate sin and live for the glory of God that loves righteousness now. That I now hate the things I once loved and love the things I once hated. So my advice for you is to start praying against this lack of desire for God, to pray for your heart to just desire and be desperate for the presence of God, that you learn to hate sin and learn to love God more and more every day. And when you, when you pray, ask in faith and know that your freedom is not bought by a stronger self-devotion or a self-discipline act in the physical realm, but by a spiritual transformation in the spiritual realm that has been bought and defeated by the blood of Jesus on that cross. That when he died upon that cross, he took upon all of your sin, including your desires, including your old self, it all died with him right then and there. So know that, that your old self is gone, you are made alive with Christ. Seek the freedom of God, abide in His presence more, and trust that who the sun sets free is free indeed.